I'm Mr. Schrader, and today we're going to begin our discussion of the Northeast region of the United States. This is a region that uh, involves 11 states um, and lots and lots of different landforms, from mountains to hills to rivers to lakes to forests. Many of these uh, resources were formed hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Uh, today's lesson involves four different objectives. The first objective is to talk about the mountains and rivers in the Northeast. Secondly, we're going to talk about uh, natural resources and why they're important to the Northeast. Third, we're going to discuss other resources. And fourth, we're going to talk about the climate. Let's go. And I showed it because, uh, in a way, it sort of shows what, what it was like a long, long time ago in North America. Um, once, much of North America was covered by large moving sheets of ice called glaciers. In some places, glaciers were um, as much as a mile thick. Now these thick glaciers, they moved south. And as they moved south, they flattened the land, they crushed boulders, and dug deep holes. Now when the climate changed and it got warmer, the glaciers melted, filling in these spaces. So we get things like um, the Great Lakes and the Finger Lakes of New York State. Let's talk about mountains. The world's oldest chain of mountains is the Appalachian Mountains, which stretches from Maine in the north to Alabama in the south. Uh, they were formed more than 250 million years ago and almost every state in the Northeast has mountains. The uh, Appalachian Mountains include other mountain ranges, such as the Green Mountains in Vermont, as well as the Adirondack Mountains, which extend clear from Canada to New York State. The Northeast coastline is dotted with bays, which are areas where the ocean is partly surrounded by land. This creates a sheltered place where uh, they're called harbors, where ships can be safe from storms. Here's an example of a bay. Uh, this is Baltimore, Maryland. Early, settle early settlers uh, anchored their ships in these harbors. Over time, large cities, including Baltimore, Maryland, and New York City, grew around these harbors. At one time, forests covered much of the Northeast. Uh, they were a valuable resource for Native Americans as well as European settlers. Native Americans used the trunks to build uh, homes and carve canoes. The European settlers used the wood to build homes but also to build ships. Both groups burn wood as fuel, something that produces energy. Another resource made from the trees is made only in North America and that's maple syrup. It's produced in nine states. Most of those states are in the Northeast. Um, and it takes somewhere between 30 to 50, 50 gallons of the sweet water sap that comes from maple trees to make just one gallon of maple syrup. There's a lot of water in the Northeast, too. Uh, many rivers flow down the mountains. Um, on the east side of the mountains, the areas where the land is suddenly drops and then flattens into a plain, we get a lot of um, waterfalls that show up there. Here's a picture of Niagara Falls. Um, about 12 million tourists visit the falls each year to view uh, something about 150,000 gallons of water per second, uh, dropping over 200 feet. Um, which brings us to a vocab word we need to talk about, which is Fall lines. Fall lines are where land drops sharp, sharply to lower land below. This is where we'd see a waterfall. All the water in the Northeast is used as a resource to produce energy for machines. Some are used to create electricity. One of the major hydroelectric power plants in the country is the Tennessee Valley Authority. 
created during the Great Depression. The TVA is a federal government agency that oversees a system of dams, hydroelectric gathering stations, and flood control. The cheap electricity provided by the system encouraged industrial development and greatly improved the economy of the Finally, region. the fourth thing I want to talk about is climate. The Northeast has four seasons, but seasons are different based on where you're at in the region. Uh, the high elevations of the mountains has cooler climate than in the low areas. Also, the southern states, such as like Maryland, are warmer than in the northern states. All of the states in the region have precipitation, though, either rain or snow. Um, there are a lot of storms in the fall and in the winter, and these are called the nor'easters. Um, and finally, in, in early fall, temperatures drop and daylight hours shorten. These changes cause a great uh, change in the leaves of the trees. They'll change to different colors like brown and orange and red and yellow. Um, and tourists, which are people who travel to visit other places, tourists travel to the northeast each fall just to see the colorful changing leaves. Alright, so in this lesson we've talked about four things. We've talked about mountains and rivers. We've talked about uh, how the Northeast uses resources, what other kind of resources we have, and then we've finally talked about climate. Thank you for joining me today for this lesson.